Brett, go ahead and tell us all about Law Farms. We started out by accident with uh, some popcorn because um, we wanted some popcorn. We planted it with yes. a little planter and we ended up with over a thousand pounds of it. Uh oh. <laughs> So we thought, well, we'll just sell it and give it to the kid, the money to the kids. So we did, and it caught on, and the next year we planted some white, and it sold out in less than a month. Mm -hmm. So the next year we went to five acres of popcorn, and uh, we did a bunch of white. We had our first popper built by Wally Miller here in King City. Yes, uh-huh. And uh, we started popping, and we started doing events, and then we expanded to having the mushroom the white, the strawberry red, your standard yellow, and your blue popcorns. Go ahead and tell us about some of your jams. I saw you had some really unique jams like uh, uh, jalapeno pepper, right? That's kind of, I've never heard of that before. Well, I got a Facebook message from Dr. Miller and we had a bunch of watermelons. And she's like, if you'd make uh, watermelon jelly, I would buy some. So I had a bunch of watermelons. I had the time, I made watermelon jelly. Well, then we had a bunch of jalapenos that were too small to sell for jalapeno poppers. So then we made jalapeno jelly. So we did a green without the seeds and membranes. Then we did a red with the seeds and membranes. Then we've added a cucumber jalapeno, a strawberry jalapeno. Um, then we've added the habanero. Then we did a Carolina Reaper jelly, which is a thousand times hotter than a jalapeno. Oh my gosh. And that is a good seller because people want to, uh, they just got to try it. How hot is it? And then yeah. they want to make their buddies try it. Tell us about your sunflowers. The sunflowers, we plant um, branching unique ones that aren't just yellow. These put multiple blooms on. They stay pretty for maybe a month or so and they're all different colors. Tell us about the open house you held on October the 11th of 2020. We wanted to get some, you know, more unique vendors um, because we didn't, we don't, we didn't want to overcrowd everything. So we wanted people that were original, doing, making stuff themselves. So we have Carlo's Junk, junk Market. She has hand poured candles and handmade potpourri. Mm -hmm. Um, we have Morgan Schilling with Triple H Designs. She does sublimination, which I don't even know what that is. She does screen printing, and she does direct-to-garment apparel. We have Jeannie Burke. She'll have handmade soap, lotion, lip balm, bath bombs, and bath salts. Okay. We have Rocking Horse Ranch. Um, they will have uh, one or two of their miniature horses here. Gary Lawrence will be here with his Hot Wheels collection. Okay. He um, collected Hot Wheels um, and the common cars. Brad, go ahead and give us some contact information so people can reach you. All right, um, if, you, uh, if you're here on Facebook, just put Law Farms LLC into Facebook, mm -hmm. you can find us. Um, if you want to check out our website, it's just lawfarms.com and our phone numbers and email and Facebook Messenger um, I respond to all of those. Very good, Brad. Well, thank you for so much. It's been a pleasure.